Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pinkin YouTube channel. My name is Connor Southwell, Norwich City reporter um, for the EDP Evening News and the Pinkin. Of course, we're here today. Norwich City have completed the sec their second signing of the summer window, if you want to describe it as the summer window, um, with the signing of Polish winger uh, Primashur Poeta. Hopefully I've got that right, but I'm, I'm no doubt my pronunciation will improve as uh, Poeta continues his, his Norwich City career. He's joined from um, Polish top flight side Slaz uh, Voklor, um, and he is essentially um, very, very quick. Very, very quick indeed. Um, Pinken.com is, is the place to go, of course, for the reaction and, and analysis to this signing. But uh, to give you a little bit of insight, I spoke to a uh, Norwich-based Polish FA scout. And I, again, I, I apologise if I butcher his pronunciation. Uh, Primozek uh, Soyunski to get the lowdown on uh, Norwich City's new signing. Um, and what he does say, he, he says that Norwich City fans can expect the pace of uh, the Roadrunner, which, of course, that famous cartoon character that I'm sure everyone is familiar with. Um, but then goes on to say he ran 30 metres in 3.8 seconds, which is uh, on par with Usain Bolt, I think. That is lightning quick. Um, and I, I think essentially what Norwich City are getting is a winger who can inject some fresh pace into those attacking phases where often they have overplayed um for me you have to have a bit of a combination between the technical proficiency in the final third where players can can interplay and and combine on the edge of the penalty area to unlock defenses and you do need some raw natural pace i mean if we look at perhaps the the threat posed by not comparing him obviously but Adama Traore at Wolves and it's almost like a cheat code when you have a player with the ball who can run at such pace and for me that's quite an exciting prospect I think there has been occasions this season where Norwich City have looked to play on the counter-attack or um, certainly in transition when they win the ball they're very very slow at progressing up the pitch and so that essentially leave a big void to be filled and, and when we spoke to Stuart Weber last week he identified his pace and, and probably physicality as well as being the two areas where Norwich City were really short in the Premier League and if you look at the first two recruits Jacob Sorensen of course we made a video on him after uh, he signed on Monday that you can find that on the Pink and YouTube channel um, he was certainly ticked the physicality box and now we've got Poeta who who clicked who, um, who ticks the the speed box as well so Norwich City are moving quickly to address those key deficiencies that they felt they had in the top flight. Um, Poeta, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a profile on him. He's a 22-year-old winger. Um, as I said, played in, in the Polish top flight. 35 games, 8 goals, 5 assists this season. He's very, he's ranked very, very highly um, for Norwich City um, as well. And uh, he is... Again, the second sign, Polish under-21 international, um, a very interesting sign, a very Norwich City signing, you have to say. He actually began his career in Germany. He um, he developed at Red Bull Leipzig, uh, also had a loan spell in the third tier of Germany. Um, and then he went back to Poland due to the fact that his mother was very, very ill um, to the point where she, she sadly later passed away when, when he was playing in Poland. But he essentially moved back to be closer to his mother. Um, there's some interesting family history there as well. His brother was uh, one gold in the European Championships in 2001. He was a, a, a sprinter and then later appeared in the Winter Olympics for Poland as a bobslayer. Um, so a sporting history in his family. His brother, his other brother, uh, Sylvester, is also a footballer. He plays in the fourth tier of Poland. Uh, it's clear that, that um, Pluetta is, is probably... Uh, is probably the, the most talented footballer in his family. He, he saw, said in another interview in Poland that, that Bob Slade didn't quite turn him on, which is an, an, an interesting turn of phrase, certainly. Um, and it's going to be very, very interesting. So, again, eight goals in 35 appearances, but key to note that five of those came after football's restart uh, in June and July. So he's a man in form as well that Norwich City are picking up. And when we talk about this um, shift in mentality, I think that's pivotal. You need players who aren't going to feel the hangover of relegation, who aren't going to perhaps take their baggage into the championship with them. They need a fresh start. They need players who want to improve, who are hungry, who are young. And this is certainly fits that bill. And of course, it will be. It remains to be seen whether or not his progress can be as such that he can push on into the Polish national team. He's yet to be capped at professional level, although from what I understand, he has a lot of admirers in, in the Polish um, FA system. I'll see if I can provide a little more detail in terms of um, what uh, our insight um, offered. Um, so 
uh, I'm quoting directly. This is exactly what he said. Um, Primacek, who's, who's a Polish FA scout, uh, lives in Norwich. Really nice guy. Um, this is a direct quote. He said, you can expect from him unconventional dribbles and passes, but he needs to play in a tactical system which allows him to use his speed. He wants to run into empty spaces. He probably will struggle in more crowded areas of the pitch where technique and first touch are very important. I think he's got bags of potential. He'll definitely add a lot of speed in the final third where Norwich was struggling this year. Interesting elements in there. And the first one I want to pick up on is perhaps his inability to operate in tight spaces. Now, if you think about the way Norwich City play, you think about the way they played in the championship title winning season where they had Emi Buendia, um, Onel Hernandez as well. They had players who could impact games in tight areas and, and who could exchange passes on the edge of the area and probably break down defences with a more technical sense rather than a more physical sense. If we're now talking about a player who perhaps impacts games running at defences, does that mean we're going to see a shift in the way Norwich City play, or perhaps a slight tweak to the way that they play. We know Daniel Farker likes to play with almost these inverted wingers. Um, Placetta is, is left-footed. He plays um, on the left conventionally. It wouldn't surprise me totally if we saw him play for Norwich on the right and actually to cut in on that left foot. Equally, it wouldn't necessarily surprise me if Norwich opted to go with what we saw, certainly more so, I think, in Daniel Farker's first year, where they had more of an out-and-out -out winger and then um, probably an inverted winger as well. So maybe um, a little bit of a mix and match. And to me, that would probably match up if we're talking about Jamal Lewis staying around. I think he's someone who, whilst he's very positive in terms of his footballing thinking, perhaps has a, offers Norwich a bit more defensive security and is probably a bit more defensively um, resilient than Max Aaron's uh, on the other side. So maybe this is probably a, a slight tweak or a slight change to the way we'll see the fullbacks operate. So there are lots of interesting elements in this transfer. For me, Norwich City moving quickly to uh, try and address their their deficiencies. Um, it's, it's a big step, Polish top flight to, to, to the championship. It's, it's probably physically going to be a, an interesting challenge um, and it's going to be interesting to see how he adapts to that. That said, we have seen players take this step before. Norwich City are recruiting from, from different markets and um, the fact that he is, one, a Polish um, youth international, two, lightning quick, to me feels like he could offer Norwich City a little bit of something different. I think we'll wrap it up there. Um, get your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, what do you think of, of the sign? I've probably butchered his name, but um, we'll go with Poeta, I think it is, um, or Pochetta, or, or something along those lines. Um, I won't say it anymore because I'll make it worse for myself. Um, but <laughs> make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the Pink and YouTube channel as well. Plenty more content coming your way. Of course, Norwich City do have the small matter of a trip to Manchester City on Sunday to close their Premier League season. We'll be there. Pinkin.com, the place to go for all the latest news, analysis, reaction, etc. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you very, very soon.